everybody. Before I get into these buffs and changes, I want to have a quick little disclaimer to check out the description below. There is a link to the very same Google Sheet I use in all my videos, and you can check out all of the very, very critical and important move buffs and changes. Um, basically, every move is buffed or changed in this hack to a great extent, so definitely give those a look. Another thing I'm going to start saying at the beginning of these videos is to definitely subscribe if you haven't already. I know it's weird to ask people to subscribe before they watch the video, but if you are a regular viewer who just clicks on all the videos and watches them all and you aren't subscribed, please do that. I'm trying to hit 1K soon, so thank you very much. But with that being said, we have Drapion, and this might be a little bit of a controversial change here. Um, you, the, the reason for it is two reasons, and the main reason is because of balancing, because in this rum hack, again, it is an Atex hack, so there's 720 Pokemon around, uh, and I have to balance them with one another to make sure that they don't outclass one another or, or overlap with one another in terms of abilities and typing. For example, I wouldn't want two Dark Poison types with Tough Claws, because Gliscor is now Dark Poison with Levitate and Tough Claws. I wouldn't want two Dark Poison types with Ruthless. Ruthless, uh, because Viper is now Dark Poison with Ruthless. So two of those abilities that fit so Drapion really well overlap. Sheer Force even overlaps because Arbok has Sheer Force and he is also a Poison Dark type. So Drapion was kind of fucked from the beginning. So it was either Poison Dark with Moxie in Sand Rush or Poison and Bug with Sheer Force in Sand Rush. I can't do Tough Claws because Parasect is Poison Bug with Tough Claws and Regenerator. So, you know, I have to keep all that in mind um, when I'm doing these busts and changes. So Drapion was kind of in an awkward spot. It was just a victim of circumstance, but I would not say a victim in this case because of these fucking meaty meaty stat boosts, as well as the fact that Bug in general is actually much better offensively in this hack. Not to mention, Sheer Force is really, really great for Drapion. I would prefer that over Moxie, despite the Poison Dark typing being a little bit better defensively. Not to mention, the, po uh, the Poison and Bug typing is actually not bad at all um, defensively. Yeah, you have a couple of common weaknesses. Keep in mind, Stealth Rocks are not a factor in game, okay? AI does not know how to abuse Stealth Rock properly. It's not really a good option. I mean, maybe a couple boss fights like as a gimmick, but it's not like a mainstay thing like it is in 66 singles. So, uh, Poison Bug actually has two four times resists and then has four total, uh, five total resists, while Poison Dark actually only has four resistances and none of those are four times. So, well, of course, you do have um, only one weakness as opposed to four, and you have a whole immunity. So, I'm not trying to say that like Poison Bug is objectively better or anything because it's not, but Poison Bug does have a lot of pros over Poison Dark. Again, those, resist those resistances are pretty, pretty huge. Um, so, yeah, and not to mention, logically, it, it, it also just bothers me that Drapion's not a bug type. Uh, Although that is not the main reason for the change. I would have been totally fine with Poison and Dark with Moxie. But honestly, like, there's so many Poison Dark types. There's actually more... Po there, they would, there would have been more Poison Darks than Poison Bugs in this hack otherwise. At least physical ones, physical attacking ones. And I don't want that. That's not very fun. So yeah, uh, regardless, incredible stats. Sheer Force, Sand Rush. Sand Rush fits very well as Drapion is, is a desert, desert dwelling scorpion. And the Pokedex says that he is called the Sand Demon. So I think it's really cool to have a non-rock type or ground type of Sand Rush. I think that's pretty sweet. Uh, kind of like how Statlin has Sand Rush and Vanilla and stuff. It's pretty pretty cool to have uh, Sand Rush and Drapion, and that's very strong with 120 base attack and 95 speed. The beautiful thing about Sand Rush in game is that you can run max HP, max attack, and zero speed investment. You'll all still outspeed basically everything in the hack because Choice Scarf is not very common in game. Of course, there are tons of new priority moves flying around. Speaking of which, Poison Bug has the advantage of having Stab First Impression, although you could argue that Poison Dark would have Stab Sucker Punch, so you know you kind of give and take there. But regardless, uh, that Stab First Impression is huge. Um, and in general, Sand Rush is great because you can run max HP. With 85 HP, 85 speed death, and 120 Fizz death, you are very tanky. And again, you do have those good resistances as well. Um, and you do have a pretty respectable speed here. You can also use Agility if you don't want to use uh, Sand Rush, uh, but in general, you're going to be using Agility. Uh, sorry, uh, Agility, you're going to be using Sand Rush for speed boosting purposes. Otherwise, you're just going to use your priority moves, which are First Impression, Sucker Punch, Poison Dart, and Creeping Strike, all of which are very good priority moves to have. You also have tons of great utility, so you have reliable recovery with Sediment and Molt, Molt being an earlier option. Sediment is uh, strictly better than Molt. Molt is bug type recover, Sediment is ground type recover that heals two thirds under sand. So for Sand Rush sets with max HP, you can run Bulk Up or Swords Dance. Um, keep in mind that setup moves do have Nerf PP in this hack, so you can't get up like three Swords Dances or something ridiculous. Uh, you can only get up three Bulk Ups or one Swords Dance at most. Uh, but regardless, it's still pretty cool to have that with like, for example, Bulk Up, Sand Rush, Max HP with Sediment, and you can become really tanky with like even Max Fidef maybe instead of Max HP or whatever you want to do. Um, you can also run a Mean Assault Vest set. That would be really great with you, like with like U-Turn and First Impression and that kind of stuff. Uh, and again, I don't want to under, I haven't really talked about Sheer Force yet, but my man has so many powerful, powerful Sheer Force options. Sheer Force plus Life Orb plus that 120 base attack makes Drapion on um even stronger than a pokemon like uh probably stronger than mega beedrill although i'm not don't quote me on that 
In terms of coverage, oh, definitely stronger than Mega Beedrill. Um, and then Base Beedrill is ruthless and it is a lot faster. But Drape Elm with Sheer Force and that Life Orb boost is definitely stronger. Uh, you have tons of great Sheer Force boosted options. Um, Lunge being your main bug type Sheer Force stab, which is 85 base power. And then you have um, Poison Jab or Gunk Shot for your Poison type uh, Sheer Force stab, uh, depending on if you want power or accuracy. Depends on, you know, if you're doing a Nuzlocke, for example, you might not want to risk that accuracy. Although 90% accurate, 110 base power is not bad at all. So, yeah, that's definitely worth considering. And then you have Iron Tail, Aqua Tail, Hell Thrust, Rock Slide, uh, Wild Charge, all of the Fangs, besides Psychic Fangs, and a bunch of other moves that are all Sheer Force boosted. He has incredible, incredible coverage with Sheer Force. Um, a lot of moves that aren't Sheer, weren't Sheer Force, Sheer Force boosted before, excuse me, they now are. So that's definitely worth considering as well. Make sure you check out that move sheet. Not to mention there is a little guide here, but it is kind of hard to follow because there's so many goddamn moves. Uh, but, you know, this might be nice to check out. You can see all the Pokemon that have it and all the Pokemon, all the moves that are boosted. Um, but yeah, there's also tons of other really useful stuff on that move sheet, on this... Uh, Google Sheets, there's tons of other useful links in there. But regardless, yeah, Drapion's just a beast now. Yes, he did lose that dark typing, but um, he more than makes up for it with the giant stat boosts, the incredible move pool. But just, he has so many awesome things he can do. He's very tanky, very strong Pokemon, uh, and that's fun. And I really wish that, you know, I, he deserves it. Drapion's really fucking cool. So, yeah, Ch typing has changed. Sorry for those of you who don't like it. It is what it is. Again, it's a balancing choice. I like it more as why anyways. I think it's more fun, not to mention, if he was Poison Dark, he would not have Sheer Force because Arbok has it. So uh, this is uh, overall better for Drapion, in my opinion. And I love that. I love having that stat first impression, too. I can't lie. So, yeah, um, that's about it. Scroopy is also a lot stronger uh, and faster and just a better Pokemon overall. Oh, it'll be totally fine to level 33. Poison Touch is pretty cool and useful with uh, a bunch of different moves um, if you want that. And then you also have good utility. Like I said, you got the healing moves. You got Toxic, Venom Drench, uh, Screech, Baneful Bunker, all your Parting Shot, Taunt, all kinds of really fun stuff that you could take advantage of. So, yeah, I'll leave the video off there. Like I said, great coverage. Uh, also, Power Up is Shipper Spoosted. I didn't mention that either. So, that's also great coverage. You got, you know, really everything you would ever need to hit anything super effectively. Keep in mind, in this ROM hack, not only do you have infinite use ability capsules to cycle between... Music just skipped there. That threw me off. But you have ability, infinite ability capsules to swipe between... Swap between, excuse me, Sheer Force and Sand Rush. So, you're going to be using Sheer Force most of the time. But, you know, if you have a Sand Setter or, you know, you can use Z Sandstorm with plus two physical defense. And also, that ignores Taunt. So, a lot of leads in this hack have Taunt. But you can use, like, Z Sandstorm plus two defense. And you can click... You can get a Swords Dance up. Keep in mind that something like Leech Life, for example, will also heal you by 100% HP. Uh, however, it is only 60 base power now, but that's still like much better because you're healing so much more. Um, that would be like if Leech Life was 120 base power. That's how much you'd be healing. Although, of course, you might want to do damage, but you know, it's more balanced in my opinion. Makes gives you more reason to use stuff like Lunge and other powerful moves over it. But Leech Life is great for utility. You heal an inc incredible amount. Now works great with Assault Vest if you want to use like U-Turn, Leech Life, First Impression, AV plus Filler move. You know, you can really cycle around your moves. Uh, a lot of your really good moves are TM and Tutor as well, which is nice to drape you on. Um, that's really fun. Um, also, I forgot to mention Poison Tail is also a great stab. Uh, it's like a mid ground between Poison Jab and Gunk Shot, um, being 95 base. 95% accurate. Uh, so, you know, if you don't want 90% accuracy of Gunk Shot or you just you, know, you haven't gotten to the Gunk Shot tutor yet, which is probably in the mid 40s or early 40s, you know, you got Poison Tail there for more a stronger option of a Poison Jab. And then, of course, Poison Fang is situationally much better than Poison Jab without Sheer Force because it is 5 base power weaker, but it has that 50% chance to toxic the opponent. So, you know, for like a bulkier Sand Rush set, you might want to run Poison Fang instead. Who knows what you want to do? There's tons of, there's all kinds of room for strategy in this hack. So, you know, you're definitely going to be cycling between your moves, abilities, and EV spreads at will. Uh, definitely not running the same thing every fight unless you want to but that's not really making the most of your pokemon so yeah i'll leave the video off there thank you so much for listening hopefully this video was entertaining again make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already also make sure you leave a like and also leave a comment down below um and i appreciate your time and i'll be back for more so no pokemon we're almost done surprisingly so yeah thank you so much